How you doing, people? Um, I'm at the house chilling. Got some time on my hands, so I thought I'd express my feelings on uh, Cleveland hip hop, and you know, let y'all know how I feel. Um, I'm from Cleveland, Ohio. If you didn't know, uh, by the way, if you don't know me, my name is uh, Genix. I'm a hip hop artist. Um, I got my own team, BMG, Vintage Music Group. Uh, we just a uh, team for uh, individual musicians that want to bring the essence of music back because we feel like it's lost. Um, like I said, I do want to speak on Cleveland hip hop in general. Um, Cleveland hip hop is in the wrong direction. You got a lot of niggas that's not saying anything, no lyrical content. And that's the main thing I can't get past. You know, the beats, uh, they're not the, the best beats, they're not top notch beats. But if you could say something on those beats, I could fuck with you. But these niggas can't say anything but talk about how many hoes they fuck, how much weed they smoke, what kind of cars they drive, how much jewelry, what type of jewelry they got on, how good they look, what clothes they wear, how fly they are, and how bad did they murder the boots. That's all these niggas can talk about. First of all, niggas don't murder, don't kill the songs. They don't even fucking abuse the songs. They don't even hit the songs. They just get on them, lay their vo voice, voices on them, lay their vocals on the song, and that's it. They don't even do much. From what I hear, you don't kill shit. I wrote a song and said, um, some niggas stepping, I bet each one of you niggas will step out the booth and claim you killed it. Now you stepping out of your truth. You know, every last one of these niggas go in the booth, I bet, and go in there and say, yeah, I just killed this shit. Yeah, I doubt it. But, um, that's what we living in right now. Cleveland is full of niggas like that. And we living in pop culture era, so, you know, hip hop is influencing that. And the niggas they listen to, like Gucci Man, Wiz, Khalifa, um, Flies, OJ the Juice Man, Rocco Dash, you know, Soulja Boy is a big influence still on how the niggas act and rap. Everybody just want to make that dollar, man. And the funny thing is nobody in Cleveland is probably making money off rap for real the way they, they think they should be. You know? A lot of the niggas are probably frustrated. Because they know how much money their soldier boy's making. Which is sad because, you know, you can basically see how much money he's making. He's not making probably more than fifteen million a year. And and compared to the music that he's making, to to the shit Jay Z's making, that's not a lot of money. And the shit the money that he could be making not, it's not a lot of money, but niggas think they making money when they get a, you know, they go to Peabody's and do a show. Uh, from what I heard, my niggas say you can go to Peabody's, you can go to, you can go to any of them clubs and just, you know, ask them to let you get on and they'll let you get on, you know. So it ain't like you gotta have a record exposure, you know, to do these shows. I mean, I could be wrong, but I doubt it because I see a lot of niggas doing shows and they not, their music is not top notch. So, you know, it's probably true. But, um, niggas just want to make a dollar, and they're not even making that, probably. Uh, they just got niggas making music like they in a hurry. Like, they just put some lines together, throw them all together, and, you know, they got a song, and they got a hit, and they go in the booth, or they homemade studio in the closet, and they just, you know, blah, blah, and they got a song, they throw it out, put it on my space, Facebook, and now they legends. You know, they got a hit, they got a, they got, they got a fan base, they, they, they this shit. You know, they got swag now, you know. <laughs> you know, and uh it's just crazy, man. Yeah. Me myself, I don't care about that shit. I don't care how many people listen to my music, I don't care about that. I mean I do because I'm a rapper. I'd be lying if I actually said I don't care if anybody listens to my song. I want people to listen, but I'm not making music that people you know, we want to hear probably. I'm not going to be looking at people like, I need to make what he's making, what he's making. Uh, they like that. They like what they're making. I'm going to go ahead and do what they're doing. I like it. You, you say you like that? I'm going to make that. That's not what I'm doing. That's not what I want to do. I'm making music that I think people should hear and what I want them to hear. If you feel it, you don't. If you, if you do, no power to you. Help me promote. Be on my team. Let me know how you feel. Uh, as simple as that. And I do this for y'all. No matter how, how bad I talk about these rappers in Cleveland, I do it for y'all. I do it for the listeners, man. I do it for the people who can't do it. You know, who are physically unable to do it. I do it for those people. I do it for the world. I do it for my team. The niggas that's behind me, that, that respect my grind and help me move help me do the shit that I need to do to get better. The people that influence me, I love y'all, and y'all know who y'all are. And I do it for y'all.
and you know, even hip hop is just not in the right direction. And they don't they don't know what they want to do. They don't know what they want to do, man. And it's sad. Niggas make music like they in a hurry, like they got somewhere to go. They got a hit. They fine with that. I don't care about that shit. I just want to make music and be good. I just want to be good, man. I want to make a few dollars off this shit, man. I'm not lying to you. I want to make a few dollars off this shit, man. I want to be laying up in the Hamptons, you know, puffing on a Cuban. I want to do that, but I want to make music first, and I want to make music after. You know, I'm not going to relax. I'm not going to get comfortable and stop once I, you know, go platinum or, you know, anything. If I experience any type of success, I'm not going to stop when I put that on everything I love, when I love a lot, <laughs> you know. Uh, um, feel like I'm the best for my my place. Feel like I'm the best for my city. And uh, anybody that disagree with that, I'm not running away from anything. Feel free to catch feelings and send that send that diss, you know. But uh, I encourage people to do that because I don't want people to feel like Drake. You know, you diss me, you'll never hear a reply for it. I want to hear a reply. Why would you want to diss somebody and don't get a reply? You know, you want to diss somebody, but you don't want to hear what they got to say. Well, what's the point of you even dissing them? People, you, you, you say something about somebody, you hear what they're gonna say. That's what he feel, and I don't want y'all to feel that way. When you say something back to me, let me know, cause uh, I want to be proven wrong. And from the music that I ain't heard from Cleveland, I can't be proven wrong. So. G Nick. BMG, um, whatever, man. Mixtapes is uh, coming out soon. Uh, I got my first mixtape to search. That's completely done. Uh, mixtape after that is gonna be most likely Miss Davis and Overdose. Um, that's gonna be some hot shit. Then after that, I'll probably drop. Um, I got some other shit I want to do, so I just don't know exactly which one I drop after in order. But I'm I'm for sure that the search is gonna be the first one, and then after that it's gonna be Miss Davis and Overdose most likely. And after that I can't tell you. But um, be on the lookout. We got the BMG compilation mixtape coming out. Uh, loose concept, new era mixtape. Uh, what be a fame? Ryan Hard, Fly High. Um, and uh, everybody else in the vintage camp should be working on some their own solo projects. Pixie the Don, uh, D Street, Stars. Uh, Kid K, Tent, um, you know, and me, myself, g -Nick. So, um, oh yeah, I can't forget my nigga Sam and my nigga Jig, uh, you know, New Air, to the death of us, uh, but, you know, we got some shit coming out soon, and like I said, I got some music on my MySpace page, www.myspace.com backslash g -Nick 90 so, um, just go check it out, tell me what you think, um, like I said, I, I'm, I was only making this video to express my opinions on Cleveland hip hop, and Cleveland hip hop sucks, man. So I'm just one man. My opinion shouldn't change your whole, you know, sight of the game. But I just want to influence somebody to do something positive and make some real shit. Fuck all this bubble gum commercial shit. You know, all we want is change, so we can buy the new coupes and swerve in our commercial lane. For real, that's all we want, man. BMG, G-Nick, signing out. Holla.